All right, I want to talk about the process of converting a lead. Now, a lead record is someone that has expressed an interest in doing business with your company. And in my Salesforce instance here, I'm going to open up a lead record from this list view for someone that has not been contacted yet. And this is just all fake data here in this free Salesforce developer account of mine. And so we can go into here and get more details around what this potential customer is wanting and fill it in and gather more information. And you kind of track the status of a lead in its journey from initial contact through to lead conversion process. And that's through the status field or the lead status field. And you can make those changes here on the path. And so let's say that I've contacted or I've reached out to Mr. Mike Brond here. I could then signify that status through this Chevron selection here and then mark his current status. Now I've got several different status points in this path for this particular type of lead. Yours may be different in your own Salesforce organization. I have previously introduced what are known as record types. Those would be different types of leads. And so depending on the record type in my org, I've got different status selections and that's through the lead process is how all that's set up. So as I go through and mark these different status designations at some point, I will want to identify this individual as someone that has a good chance of doing business. I've done the lead nurturing, the qualification process, and I want to go ahead and enter in an account for this individual as well as an opportunity for a potential deal and then also convert this lead record into what is known as a contact in Salesforce. Okay, so that's done through the lead conversion process. I just simply click the convert button and that brings up a screen to where I have the option of either searching for existing accounts, contacts, and opportunities in my system or creating a new account record, contact record, and opportunity record as well. You do have the option of not creating an opportunity at this point by checking this checkbox, but I'm gonna go ahead and create a new opportunity as well. And you can adjust the name of these entries as well by typing in further information or details. And then another note is as you type or enter in information in the different name fields, if there are record types on various objects in your org, you'll have the opportunity to select the resulting, in this instance, opportunity so let's say that this were an opportunity for software development, you could select record type. And that's something that sometimes is often overlooked and is kind of hidden and lurking until you actually click in here. And it looks like I only have record types on opportunities, but not accounts and contacts. Now the data in these fields are derived from the lead record. And so the name field on the lead is populated in the first and last name for the subsequent contact that's created. As well, the company name on the lead record will populate into the name field for the new account record and then there's a starting point of just the account name in the opportunity field and then a dash and I've typed in some additional information here and then as well it shows down below that I'm the record owner and that this converted status will be closed and converted so this lead record won't necessarily go away but it'll be hidden from view from you and instead the intention is is that if you want to make changes to Mike Braun's record here you would go into the contact record that is created through the lead conversion process. So we're going from one record into three, a lead going into contact, opportunity, and accounts. So I'm going to click convert. And Salesforce treats the lead conversion process like you've crested Mount Everest with this mountaintop experience. You've now created an account, a contact, and an opportunity. Other data that's been populated from the lead record is populated onto the account, the contact, and the opportunity. You'll see the phone number from the lead record is both on the account and the contact record. The email address for the lead is populated on the contact record. And then the close date has set to the last date of the current quarter. You can adjust and configure, reconfigure that to other behavior. And it's just a matter of going in and accessing the various records and then you'll find the related records or links to related objects for this record. For example, we're on the contact record now and if we wanted to go to the account, we just find where it's hyperlinked here and go to the account. And then we see in the related list, there's a related contact record of Mike Brond with this account. And then also in the related list would be the subsequent opportunity that we created. And now we can start going through the process of trying to close the deal. And this is where marketing hands off to sales typically during that lead conversion process. So if you found this Salesforce video helpful, please do like and subscribe. And also please leave a comment down below for what you'd like to learn next on the Salesforce platform. I just might make it my next video. Until then, I'll see you in the cloud.